Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters, uh, this is Abdi Muhammad who is back in action for your information. Uh, sorry these days I have not posted videos uh, because of money, because it's maybe, okay? Uh, that's uh, about personal life, okay? Uh, today we are going to discuss about the unit second, that is from the concept of mathematics, okay? Mathematics in high school is very easy case. This cycle is very essential or very important because we are going to get the value, that is the value of uh, the time value, the cost value, and uh, the side value of any angle using the, the cycle, okay? This cycle. So, uh, this cycle uh, can also be uh, solved in trigonometric equations, okay? Okay? Trigonometric equations. Remember, we are done with trigonometric of form 2. We are also done with trigonometric of form 4, apart from that of the uh, graph, okay? Remember, I've posted several videos concerning about the most complicated or sophisticated uh, trigonometry, which is the one of form 4, and you can take advantage of that, okay? Let's go. Uh, this is what you normally call the unit cycle, okay? This is what you normally call the unit cycle. This is the one we're talking about, okay, guys? Okay? Let's say this is the y-axis. So we'll give everyone one unit here. Yeah? Don't forget that. So here is one. One is positive. Don't forget. Because this is the, the y-axis. Here we also have one, negative one. Yeah, don't forget. Here we have negative uh, one as well. So this is what you normally call the unit cycle. Remember in form two, we use the unit cycle to solve uh, or to get the value of angles, okay? The sine value, the cos value, and the tan value of any angle, okay? Remember we said in, in form two, we said that in form two, that we will be dealing with the trigonometry uh, using the principle of what? Complementary angles, okay? Where range will not be given. But here in form three, we will be using this principle, which says, all students check chemistry. Look at this one. Very beautiful, by the way. All students check chemistry. What does it mean? We are not saying all the students in high school are taking chemistry. No, that's not the case. So here, uh, all ratios in the first quadrant. Remember we said in form one. If you are with me in form one, because I've posted videos concerning about graph and coordinates of form one. Okay? In form one, you say that the Cartesian plane is made up of four quadrants, okay? Which are named in anticlockwise direction. Don't forget that. So here, this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Make sure you take advantage of this ongoing program, guys. Very, very welcoming. So when you're saying all, it means any value which falls. In the first quadrant, whether it's sine, cosine, or tangent, it's positive. We are not saying all because we know the word all. That's not the case, ma'am. We are saying here in the first quadrant, sine, cosine, and tangent of any value which is which falls in this quadrant is positive. Don't forget that. So if I want to get sine 40, it falls here, it's positive. If I want to get cos 30, it falls here. So I want to get tan 78 falls here. So and it's still positive, remember. So any value you have gotten from the first quadrant, whether it's sine, cosine, or tangent, you are all what? Positive, don't forget. When you go to the second quadrant, like if I want to get this angle, look here, sine 135. I want to get sine or sine 135. Pronunciation depends on where you went to school and who taught you. Okay? Here, sine value. It's only sine value that's positive. This S stands for sine, don't forget. Sine value is only positive in the second quadrant. It is only sine value, in another way, which is positive in the second quadrant, okay? So the tan value and the cosine value in the second quadrant are not positive, they are negative, don't forget that, okay? Mathematicians don't lie, my friends, okay? In the third quadrant, it's only tan, that is, tan value which falls in the third quadrant is always positive, but the cos and the, and the sine value which falls in the third quadrant are both what negative. Bear witness with me, here. guys. Okay, come to the fourth quadrant again. Cos is only positive because you have C here. So, any value, any tan value or sine value which falls in the fourth quadrant is negative. Okay, just understand that. Having that to be brain now, what are we going to say? 
Let me give you examples, guys. Mathematics is very easy. You can see now your brother Abdul River is not carrying a book of forms. You can see, see it. Okay? This shows you that this concept of mathematics is very easy. But at least you must have a, the calculator. Okay? And your calculator must be in four decimal uh, points. Okay? Touch the mod three times. Then you get fixed science number. Then touch one. Then touch four. So your calculator is in four decimal uh, places, okay? Or four decimal points, okay? Yes, and sir. It's just like that of the chip, okay? The value you'll be getting from this calculator is the same as that of the table for information. So now let's see examples having this one. Okay, if I want to get it, let's see. Find the value of each of the four numbers. Let's see this one. Example one. You are told, find the values. Find the values of the flowing angles. Of the flowing angles using what? The unit second. The unit second. Billiard. Stop it there. Find the values of the flowing angles using. Find the value of the flowing angles using what? Uh, the unit second, okay? Now, let's start with this one. A, you are told, sine 60, B, uh, let me say, cos 45, then C, okay, C, or let me solve the one at the time, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So if I want to get now, let me solve the one at the time, yeah? So if I want to get the, the sine value, sine value of 60, yeah? 60 falls in the first quadrant, and we say all values that falls in the first quadrant are positive, okay? So here, sine 60, obviously you're going to say sine 60. Then it will give us what? 0 0.8660. 0 .8 you get directly from the calculator. Say sine 60. Just understand. So, and it's still positive, not too good. What about this one? Let's see this one. B cos 75. Okay, let's see now cos what? Cos 75 for your information. If I want to get cos 75, remember this angle still falls in in the first quarter. So now, and it's still what? It's still what? Positive for your information. Now, if I want to get cos 45, I will also get directly, directly from the, from the calculator. I will also get it from the calculator directly. Directly from the calculator for your information. So I will say, and cos 45, Cos, cos, sorry, cos 75 is what? Uh, is 0 .2588, 0 0.2588. So that's how you're going to get any value of angle that falls in the first quarter. But the question here is, what are you going to do when the angle is greater than 90 degrees? Okay? What about this one? Let's see this one. See, sine uh, 135. Sign 135, don't forget this thing, I carry what? Degree. Don't forget this, this thing, I carry what? Degree. So if I want to get uh, sign 135, sign 135 uh, falls in the second quadrant, okay? It's 90 plus 45, okay? So if I want to get uh, this value, the value of this angle, what we're gonna do is, uh, uh, we will subtract this one uh, from 108. So we can say, coming to the solution, we can say, sign 135 degree is equal to Sign open the bracket 180 degree less 135 degree. So obviously, sign 135 degree, sign 135 degree. Look here, sign 135 degree is equal to sign 45. So if you use your calculator, if you say sign uh, 45, it will give you what 0 point, which now which is equal to now sign 135 there for degree is equal to uh, 0 0.7. 071 okay that is the final answer if you also uh, uh, directly insert this value in the calculator if you say sign 105 it will still give you the same value you can see so you get the comp the supplementary angle to this angle okay the supplementary angle and you say the supplementary angles are angles that add adds up to 108 degree for your information okay now uh without wasting time let's see this one if i have if i have cos Cos 135. I know that this angle falls in the second quarter, but it's carrying the unit one, cos. So I'm saying 
cause solution. Look here. I will say cause again 135 degree is equal to cause open the bracket 180 degree minus 135 degree. So cause 135 degree is equal to cause 45 degree. So I'll get cause 45. But knowing that in the second quadrant what cause is negative, okay, I'll say cause 45. That is 0 0.1. 0 0.7701. Uh, but I'll say cause 135 degree is equal to negative 0 0.7701. Okay? This is negative. Why? Because this angle 135 falls in the second quadrant. But remember, it's carrying the unit one, cause it's not sine, okay? So it can never be positive. We say that here, sine is only positive, okay? Just understand that. So, cause, get the, get the supplementary angle of this one, which is 45, okay? Get the cost value from the calculator. Then, give it what? Negative. Give it negative, or give it, uh, uh, you give it as a sign, uh, as, as a, uh, you give it the negative sign to it, okay? So this is the final answer for your information, okay? So when an angle enters in the second quadrant, they're saying, for us to get the value of that angle, we are going to say the cos or the sine or the tan of that angle is equal to the, the cos, the sine or the tan of that angle. Open a bracket, 180 minus 1. That 180 minus angle given, okay? In that situation, then, you are going to get the correct answer. Now let's see this one. Let's see this one. Tan 160. Tan 160. Let's see this one. Tan 160 degree. Tan 160 degree also falls in the second quadrant. Because remember this is in second, so it's 180. So tan 160, we are going to say, knowing that 160 falls in the second quadrant. And the tan value of that angle is what? It's negative. We are going to say, coming to the solution, tan. 160 degree is equal to tan open the bracket 180 degree minus 160 degree. So tan at uh, 160 degree is equal to tan, let's say tan 20. So I get the tan value of 20. Yeah? So I say tan 20 to give me how much? 0 0.3640. But remember this value is negative because in the in the second quadrant, sign is what I mean sorry, tan is what? Tan is negative. So we're gonna say tan 160 degree is equal to negative 0 0.3640. This is uh, the final answer, okay? We are still working in the second quadrant. What if now, what if the angle given falls in the third quadrant? Let's see that. Let's see that. What if the angle given falls in the third quadrant, okay? Let's see that, okay? Let's see that. We will use the same instruction for information, yeah? Let's go, guys. Can I witness here, please? It is very easy. People are saying trigonometric is very hard. It's not hard. It was not hard and it will never be be hard, guys, for your information. Let's go and see this one. So we finish this thing, okay? Let's go and see this one. Let's see now. Sign. Sign. Uh, let's say 240. Look at this. So this angle falls in the third quadrant because it's greater than 180 degrees, eh? Yes. So we're going to say, coming to the solution, sine 240 degree is equal to, sine open the bracket now, 240, the angle given, minus 180. So we will subtract this 180, just understand. Very easy. So if the angle given is greater than 180 degree, what are you going to do? That angle given minus 180 degree. Okay, just answer. So I'm going to say sine, just answer that. Sine 240 degree is equal to sine, okay? Sine what? Subtract so these two. Sine 60, okay? So I will get sine 60. Knowing that again, sine is negative here. Because the angle force is that part. It's only time which is positive. So I will say sine. 60. Use the calculator. Okay. Now sine 240 degree down is equal to negative 0 0.8660. Understand this? Because this angle 240 falls in the third quadrant. This is 180. 
Let us go into the third column. So what are we going to say? We will subtract it. Uh, we will subtract the angle. Uh, the, 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 we will subtract 180 from the angle given. We will subtract 180 from the angle given. Understand that? So this is how we are going to get the final answer. Let's get tan also. Tan, tan 250. Tan 250. So how are we going to solve this up? We are going to say tan to 50 degree is equal to tan, open the bracket, to 50 degree minus 180 degree. So tan to 50 degree is equal to tan, subtract this two now. That's 70, yeah? Tan 70. Knowing that in the third quadrant, tan is what? Tan is positive. Don't forget that. So I'll say tan 70. That is uh, tan to 50 degree there is equal to 2.7475, which is positive for your information. Okay? 2.7475. Final answer. Tan is positive here. Okay? What about cos? Let's see this one. Cos to 30. Let's see this one. Cos to 30 degree. We know that this angle falls in third quality. Yes. So let me say, come here, solution, come here, please. Cos to that degree is equal to cos, open the bracket, to that degree, the angle given, minus 180 degree. So cos to that degree is equal to cos 50, because to, to that minus 180 is what? 50. And know that, or pay in like that, cos is negative in the third quadrant, please. Understand? Okay? So I'll say cos 50. Okay? That will give me now cos to that degree is equal to uh, negative 0 0.6428. This is the final answer for your information when you are working in the third quadrant. I've taught, uh, we have learned, okay? We have learned, here, we have learned that, that any value which falls in the third quadrant for us to be the sine, the cosine, or the tan of any value of, of any angle which falls in the third quadrant, you say that, that angle given means 180, and it's tan piece. And if the angle falls in the, in the second quadrant, it's 180 minus the angle given, understand that? What if now, the last but not the least, what if the angle given falls in the fourth quadrant? Let's see that, okay? Let's see this one. Sine 300 and let's see this one. What if the angle falls in the fourth quadrant? What about this one? Sine 340. Look at this one. We know that this angle falls in the fourth quadrant. Is it? Yes. 90 plus 90, 180 plus 90, 270. So it's exhibit. So it falls in the fourth quadrant. So I'm saying, you'll say like this, coming to the solution, you're going to say sine 340 degrees is equal to sine, open the bracket, 360 degree minus the angle given, which is what? Which is 340. Okay? Sine 340 degrees there is equal to sine 20. Okay? Then you get sine 20. Knowing that the sine value in the fourth quadrant what? is negative. Okay? I'll say sine 20. That's how much? Okay? Sine 340 degrees there is equal to negative 0 0.3420. Final answer. Because sine is negative here. Understand, please. Very, very well coming. Very, very easy. What about what about this one? Let's say cos. Cos 300 and let's say cos 300 degree. How will I get this one? Solution. So, solution. I will say cos 300 degree is equal to cos open the bracket 360 degree minus 300. Okay? That will give me then cos 300 degree is equal to cos 60. So now cos 60 is how much? Cos 60 is 0 0.5. So we are going to say cos 300 degree is equal to 0 0.5 because cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. So if you want to do tan, likewise, please. Okay? Very, very easy. Very, very well coming. What's that here? But nothing, guys. Okay? Just understand. We are moving in a chronological manner. Next video will be what? Error and approximations. If you have a problem with that, enjoy with us, guys. Until next time.
and we should share. Make sure you subscribe this noble YouTube channel and share with your friends and family members. Until next time, I wish you the best.